Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Reza Rahaimer. And this is Oda Maliki. Today, we are going to talk about a universal composability analysis of OpenStack, which is a joint work with Boston University and University of Connecticut. We will talk briefly about cloud computing and OpenStack and security concerns around them. Then we will introduce universal composability as a security analysis tool. We will see why we think UC is a good choice for OpenStack security analysis. Then we will explain the analysis approach and the steps needs to be done. And finally, a conclusion will be given. As you know, cloud platform enable cloud computing. It is a middleware which sits over your hardware infrastructure and provides a software interface for the admin of the system. Using this interface, an admin is enabled to define, uh, define virtual software to find isolated computer network and data storage. Now you can set up your application on any of these virtual computer network. Scale them up and down by just clicking uh, some software button. You have your own computer network for installing and using your application, a, ded a dedicated network just for your application. It looks perfect, but uh, there are many issues in the real world. Let's count some of the most important ones from security perspective. First of all, cloud platform involves huge code base. Software reminds bug for software engineer. Bigger software, more bug. Usually several applications are executed on the same cloud platform. Are those really isolated? Of course not. All cloud applications are using the same infrastructure. Although they are virtually isolated, but still many attacks like side channel attacks are possible. Also, as I mentioned before, cloud platforms have many bugs, so the isolation provided by this platform is not reliable. Each application has its own user with different privilege and capabilities, and some cloud services are open to public. In practice, a cloud serves many people, so it is an interesting target for hackers. Number of attackers that are attracted to the cloud services are growing rapidly and privacy of users and data confidentiality are in big risk. OpenStack is a cloud platform, so it suffers from common uh, cloud platform issues. It is widely used platform, so it is very attractive for hackers. OpenStack mostly deployed as an infrastructure as a service. It means the OpenStack users has high privilege. High privilege means high risk. OpenStack has a huge code base, which is deployed by different communities around the world. That makes security analysis, uh, that makes security analysis of OpenStack very difficult. It goes even worse if you know there is not clear security model for OpenStack, and the APIs between components are not well defined. OpenStack make use of many plugins and almost in all cases, admin have the right to choose between a bunch of plugins, and each plugin has its own vulnerability. All of these issues shows why security analysis of OpenStack is very important. Let us introduce universal composability as an approach which is useful for security analysis of OpenStack. Thank you. Okay, let's first see what is universal composability. It's a general purpose model for security analysis of crypto protocols. Um, it's actually perfect for modular um, uh, systems where the interaction between modules are very important. And it, it actually provides common understanding and common language of system securities. It has been uh, uh, actually introduced by Ron Kennedy in 2000. So the protocols that are defined in the UC actually remain secure even if arbitrarily are composed with other instances of the same protocol or other protocols. So this is an important property. The security is defined in a sense of the protocol emulation. That means a protocol is emulated, um, uh, is emulating the, another uh, one if the, uh, in, there is no environment that can distinguish between the execution of these two protocols. For example, if we consider a protocol such as P1 to be secure per definition, so we say the protocol P2 emulates P1 
if um, the environment is not able to distinguish between this emulation from the execution of the other protocol. In this language, we say that protocol P2 is actually is as secure as P1. So our universal composability security analysis of OpenStack has the following goal. Better understanding of OpenStack security guarantees assist uh, in identifying the high impact security import, uh, improvement and providing formal definition of, of, of OpenStack um, security related functionalities and study the security interface between the components. In order to achieve these goals, we are following the final, uh, we are taking the following steps. We first are going to define the functionality of the ideal cloud. That is the protocol P1 in the previous example. Then we are going to define the functionality of the ideal component, which is the protocol P2 that is trying to emulate P1. And then show that the components realize the ideal uh, cloud functionality, propose OpenStack modification to realize the functionalities, and finally, and propose component implementation that realize these functionalities. So let's look how we're going to do that. At the first step, we said uh, we need to define the functionality of the ideal OpenStack. So the ideal OpenStack is actually a, a, is an ideal black box, which uh, takes um, the actually it does all the functionalities in accurate in no time. And then we have to uh, consider that the user is in the environment, uh, is part of the environment, which could potentially be an adversary. In this step, we need to define the functionalities. These are some examples of the OpenStack functionality, create node, delete node, and so on and so forth. Also, we have to consider that the F OpenStack here is an ideal system. However, the interaction between this F OpenStack and the environment is not ideal. That means we may, need, we may have some informa information leakage, which may be influenced by the adversary. So the next step is to take a step down into the OpenStack. That means, to have um, split actually the, uh, the fun uh, OpenStack functionality into uh, services, uh, into actually um, several main modules, which are the OpenStack services. Now, all these services we are assuming to be ideal, but the interaction between them, as you can see, is not ideal. That means we may have more leakages here because we're splitting up. This is how we make the hybrid OpenStack. This is in a hybrid OpenStack. Now we must inspect the new model and find out what are the uh, extra leakages, uh, how, to, how, uh, how much they are important and how we can mitigate them. Um, uh, if we are able to do that, we must show that the, uh, the, uh, that the hybrid world and the ideal world uh, are, not, uh, not, uh, are indistinguishable from the environment, but we are not able to do it here because we have leak more leakage in the hybrid world. So therefore, we are using simulator. The simulator is uh, actually needs to emulate the extra leakages. If the simulator is able to do these extra uh, uh, leakages, then we could say these two environments are uh, these two words are indistinguishable from the environment. The next step is, again, to take each of these ideal services and um, split them into ideal components, which make more realistic hybrid world. And we, could, we can repeat these steps until we get the real world. If we could go until that far, we say that the real world is as secure as the ideal one. Um, but otherwise, we must provide some uh, security solutions. As you can see, uh, the step-by-step -step UC analysis both the system bottlenecks and their issues. Here you can see the three words that we're talking about. The idle one is on the left and the hybrid one and the real one. First, we have to show that the hybrid one realizes the idle one. Then we have to show that the real world uh, realizes the hybrid one. Uh, we talked about security issues of OpenStack and find, uh, find out that the OpenStack security must be analyzed in depth. In this way, uh, UC is a helpful tool. By applying UC, we will get better understanding of OpenStack security model and we will discover its bottleneck and concern. We find out that it is possible to model practical system and improve the security of system by applying universal composability but it's time consuming tasks and needs lots of expertise. 
Thank you, everyone. Uh, if you have any question, you can contact us with any of these.